right. This person writes, um, and this is, uh, of course, uh, tying back into um, the part of the episode we d recently discussed about if, you know, this, this is a segue. Wow, this is, I didn't plan this at all. This is great, right? Anyway, full power, out of control. Um, the anime bring coming back, right? So they're talking about if they, and I quote, if they actually reanimate the Broly movie, I want to see more of the planet Vegeta content. Okay, yes. And I want Goku to use Ultra Instinct against Broly. Hmm, that would be a very big change if that actually happened, right? That I, I'll give you a thing for that. Wait, what? Yeah, like, and so they're saying that if they reanimate Broly for the super anime when it comes back, you know how there's certain things that are different. So in the anime version rather than the movie version, they want Goku to go Ultra Instinct against Broly. Why? So that no. Broly can shut that shit down too. Well, what else? But I don't want. Uh, we don't want that's, that. That's happening. the thing, though. I've I've been reading I've been reading comments just in like various places, not just from our own videos. And people are people are speculating that if he had used Ultra Instinct, that it wouldn't have even been a match. That Goku can take Broly. And I'm just gonna remind people of one thing: no matter how we get to the end goal, it always stays the same, whether Correct. it's anime or manga. And at the end of the day, they had to fuse they had to do something so like and in the end you know broly might not win that fight but if goku whoops that ultra instinct you best believe it's gonna get put back away yeah just saying and just put it this way right just because we're saying that oh yeah like i want to see goku ultra instinct see go up against broly just think about the situation here it's not like how it was in the tournament of power and especially because this is taking place directly after said tournament of power like goku already confirmed for us at this point in the story that like he can't really just he's not it's not all there yet he can't yeah he has to he has to be in a life or death situation which broly could put him yeah. in because he's a berserk motherfucker but right and so and and, and and think about what happened like he could he could use it just fine he could get the upper hand on broly just fine but just like what happened in terminal power let's not forget against jiren and in this is white hair version as well okay of you know master ultra instinct whatever Goku's body could not really maintain it, and there, and then thus, what ended up happening was the only way they were able to defeat Jiren was to three on one him. So he's already fighting with Vegeta. There's gonna be a point in that fight where the same thing will happen, I'm sure, and they will still meet the checkpoint requirement of reverting, learning to fuse, coming back, winning, whatever. Right? I'm sure that'll happen. Agreed. Right, so there, there it is. Right, so that's that's a, that was a good part of this comment. And then they go to say on uh, right here, that would be so hype. Even if Gogeta Blue is hype and my favorite fusion, I want them to save him for the actual Beerus fight or Black Frieza. And he, you know what? Go ahead. I was just gonna say real quick. You know what they need to do when they reanimate it? They need to give him Big Bang Kamehameha. Hmm. And actually do it. Yeah. Cause they just, he, yeah. Cause he didn't even, he didn't. Oh yeah, cause he didn't say that. He just said, "Come it all." They hold he us. Just did a regular one. Yeah, they hold that us. shit start with like the Vegeta, and then he fucking something like. Yeah, that. I think, I think to, that's what it's he, supposed to start with the Big Bang. Yeah, mm -hmm. something like that. I don't fucking know. He doesn't even do a commandment. He literally just holds his arms out, and it just boom. It just explodes and shit disintegrates. Mm. Yeah, they should. They, they, I, I agree with that. They should definitely do that. Um, then he says. Uh, he, he, he goes, whoa, ho, 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 ho. Black Frieza versus Ultra Ego Instant Gogeta would be the best fight ever. Oh my god. Nah, nah, nah. You gotta do it right. You gotta do it. You gotta go, whoa, ho, ho. <laughs> yeah, I can't do it right now. My voice is like, I, I, I beat God of War 2 last night on my stream, guys. I'm, I'm, I was very oh, yeah, frustrated. Yeah. Okay, but I'm trying to take it easy. Anyway, um, it would be the best fight ever. I'll take. Uh, ultimate showdown of Goku thriving Ozaru Ultra Instinct and Black Frieza 2. <laughs> Shout out. That's how, hey, that's how you know they're real ones. If they know about the thriving Ozaru, dude, that would be a great indicator. Right, Bob. man? What? Mark's oh, shout out to, <laughs> right, shout out to fucking Bob, right? <laughs> Bro, listen, if we ever meet like fans of ours in person, and if we be like, yo, you know, you know, it was good with the, thro the thriving Ozaru, and they know they're real ones, right? If they were like, uh, what? I'll be like, oh, okay. Thanks for, uh, thanks for the, I'll take a picture with them. Uh, all right, peace. 
See you. See you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. Um, but then they, they know about like yeah. w- walking up to us and talking about thriving Ozaru is like the secret fucking password. Like we give them, yes. like, we give them the after party club, whatever. Like, just, like Yo, this little, this little flyer. That, was, that is such a great idea. Like, guys, okay, here's Invite the thing. Invite them to the after party. Remember this moment in Full Power Podcast history, okay? If you ever meet us in person, you can say hi, you can approach us, whatever, be cool, calm, collected, whatever, so that way we'll keep you comfortable. But if you really want us to fucking have a great time, you got to start off however way you want to approach us with saying, what's good with the thriving Ozaru? And that's how we know you're a real one, okay? Let's fucking... Let's, oh, let's go, son. Let's go. We got our we got our people. We got our people, man. The thriving Ozarus. We're all thriving. Huh. All right. But then the last thing that this, this one person said was, keep up the good work. My favorite trifecta, you are the best. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. That is uh that does mean a lot. I we definitely appreciate that. So Oh, that's that good shit. <laughs>